a blissful greetings to you all this is uh, v manimuli working as an assistant professor of mathematics in kaveri college for women trichy in continuation to the first module we shall analyze more about sequences in this video i okay i'll recall you what is a sequence a sequence is a chain of numbers or elements that usually follow a particular pattern in mathematics there are two types of order one is ascending order and the another one is descending order example for ascending order is given by the growth of the plant and for the decreasing order animals from the tallest to the shortest is given as an example there are many types of sequences defined in mathematics and they are often named after the property that they have or even the person who first described the sequence one of the most basic classifications of all sequences is whether they have a finite or infinite number of terms there are two types of sequences one is finite sequence a sequence which has a finite number of terms is called a finite sequence example for finite sequence is the number of bounces a ball takes to come to rest is a finite sequence another type of sequences is infinite sequence example for infinite sequence is the set of all real numbers a sequence having an infinite number of terms is called an infinite sequence there are a few special sequences like arithmetic sequence quadratic sequence geometric sequence fibonacci sequence harmonic sequence square number sequence triangular number sequence and the last one is the cube number sequence among the special types of sequences we shall analyze the fibonacci sequence using one example imagine that you have received a pair of baby rabbits one male and one female they are very special rabbits because they never die and the female one gives birth to a new pair of rabbits exactly once every month always another pair of male and female in the first month the rabbits are very small and cannot do much but they grow very quickly after one month the rabbits are grown up and ca and can start mating and after another month they will give birth to their first pair of kids you now have two pairs of rabbits in the next month your pair of rabbits will give birth to another couple meanwhile the pair of couples have grown up you now have three pairs in total in the fifth month your original pair of rabbits will give birth to a new pair of new pair at the same time the their first pair of kids is now old enough to give birth to grandchildren you now have five pairs of rabbits in the sixth month there are three more couples that give birth the original one as well as their first two pairs of kids and now we will have eight pairs of rabbits like this the rabbits population increases in a certain pattern this sequence is known as the fibonacci sequence in 1682 the astronomer Elm edmund halley observed an unusual phenomenon a glowing white object with a long tail that moved across the night sky it was a comet a small icy rock that is flying through space while leaving behind a trail of dust and ice Halley remembered that after astronomers had observed similar comets much earlier one in 1530 and another in 1606 notice that the gap between the consecutive observations is the same in all the cases and this 
is known as the arithmetic sequence in the next module we shall analyze the real sequences with the some examples and also some types of real sequences and the range of the sequences thank you